<clears throat> Hello. As you've certainly noticed, helicopters and airplanes both fly. But they don't have much else in common, really. Helicopters can take off vertically, land vertically, fly slow in any direction, fly low, fly high, lift heavy weights, or stay in the same place in the air. That's called hovering. As they're so maneuverable, helicopters can go places other aircraft can't. So they play vital roles in complex missions, for example, saving lives, medical transportation, rescue operations at sea, on mountains, firefighting, and military operations, for example, transporting troops or supplies. Helicopters are so versatile because their engines and propulsion systems are quite unlike the ones on planes. Planes have wings to keep them airborne and engines to keep them moving. But helicopters' main rotors do both jobs. They lift them and thrust them forward. The tail rotor, or the tail boom, keeps the helicopter's nose pointing in the right direction. It's called the anti-torque rotor. Without that tail rotor, a helicopter would just spin around with the main rotor. And you probably wouldn't enjoy that. <clears throat> so the main rotor, as we've said, lifts the helicopter. The pilot can then adjust the helicopter's lift by tilting the propeller blades using three flight controls. First, pilots use what we call collective lever. It looks a bit like a handbrake in a car. Pilots use it to make the helicopter climb, sink, or hover in midair. Pilots also have a kind of joystick to control what we call cyclic stick. They use this one to tilt the helicopter and steer it in whichever direction they want to go. Pilots also have foot controls called anti-torque pedals. They control the rotor on the tail. As we've seen, this rotor keeps the helicopter's nose pointing in the desired direction. Of course, helicopters need an engine to fly. But some bigger models can have two or sometimes more. The engine is usually behind the main rotor. It works a lot like an airplane motor. The main difference is that it is engineered to deliver power to spin the rotors, not to produce thrust. As you can see here, the engine draws in air, compresses it, mixes it with fuel and combusts it to turn the turbo shaft, which creates mechanical energy. This energy then reaches the rotor through the gearbox assembly. Helicopters have integrated electronic systems that regulate engine power automatically depending on requirements. So chopper pilots can concentrate on, well, pilot stuff. Helicopter engines, of course, undergo batteries of uncompromising tests, like their counterparts powering fixed-wing aircraft, and they're every bit as reliable. There, now you know everything, or nearly everything. Before we leave you, note that the next big thing will be hybrid propulsion. Helicopters will have several engines and pilots will be able to switch one of them to standby and then restart it in seconds with an auxiliary power unit. This will mean less fuel and less noise. <laughs>